Hey guys, how's it going? This is your humble host, Floodmon14 here. And we are back with another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Let's see, let me just get y'all... Let me just get y'all situated right there. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Eh, just caught me here in the middle of uh, editing my deck. Looking at our, you know, sort of signature monster here, Mooka Mooka. Saved our butts in a lot of duels so far, I, I must admit. Um, but, anyway, moving on. Uh, what did we do in the last episode? Oh, that's right. We, uh, well, we found a new duelist, Joey, Joey Wheeler. Um, we defeated him, and then he, he got payback in a big way and defeated us. Uh, but yes, I have since uh, reset, reset, resetted, reset. I I I reset the game. Um, so I think is what I'm trying to say. And yeah, uh, we won the first duel against Joey. He won the second. So let's see if we can find him again uh, at some point in this episode and uh, finish the match. Oh, and what do you know? All right, Joey, it's time to. Finish this once and for all, bud. I may be an amateur when it comes to combos and techniques, but you won't find anyone who fights harder than me. Bring it on! Let's finish what we started this episode. This time, I'm gonna defeat you. Alright, we'll see about that, Joey. Joey will Oh, man. Man, Joey had so. so so many, you know, good moments in the show. <laughs> oh, there's, there's so many. If, if I had to pick my favorite one, it'd be a hard pick, man. I, I don't know. I don't know. All right, now this hand looks a lot better than the one we had last time. That's for sure. A sort of dark destruction. This will be good with Whiptail Crow, Crimson Ninja, Horn Imp. Now Crimson Ninja may actually really, really help us. If it can destroy one of his, you know, kind of annoying trap cards. Uh, first turn. What do I want to do? Hmm. You know what? I think Whiptail Crow has a pretty good defense. So I think I'll set that. Um. Yeah. And we'll, we'll just we'll just see we'll just see what Joey does here. But but we got a better hand this time. We actually have some monsters, so that's that's good. Ooh, baby dragon. Baby Dragon! I summon Baby Dragon in attack mode. Oh man. <laughs> uh, oh, bad decision, Joey. You ran into my Whiptail Crow. Now, my crow, fight him back off with your wing attack. Alright, and we're off to a good start. Alright, so Joey's gonna go with a couple face downs. Now, in our last duel, Joey. When you had that baby dragon, you protected it with this, you know, skull dice. So I'm, uh, I'm going to play the sword. So even if you play your little skull dice, Joey, it's not gonna work this time. All right, switch whip tail crow to attack mode. I'll also summon the horn imp. All right. And we got a spellbinding circle too, so that's good. Pretty good. Alright, and let's see if we can get past his defenses there. Ooh, good card. Magic Arm Shield. Uh, what it does is, as you can see, it took my, my Horn Imp and made it take the hit. So, a uh, pretty good card, really. Uh, luckily for me, I attacked with Whiptail Crow first, because, uh, yeah, it, it would have worked the other way, too. Like, if I would have attacked, you know, with Horn Imp, um, yeah, I would, he would have taken control of Whiptail Crow, and, uh, yeah, I would have been on losing into that one, so. Not bad, Joey. Rocket Warrior, hmm. Ah. Go, Rocket Warrior! Use your special ability! Invincible Mode! I can only imagine that's what he's doing here, right? Yeah, and that what that does is basically Rocket Warrior. It won't be destroyed, 
but um, it reduces the attack of your monster by 500. Um, now I'm not sure, is it 500 permanent or is it till the end of the turn here? Let's see. I'm gonna have to check my Whiptail Crow real quick. Okay, it's just till the end of the turn, so that's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Okay. Well, this turn I'll summon Ocelo Hero. Alright, and let's try this again, Joey. Alright, so I'll destroy Rocket Warrior with Whiptail. Okay, no trap. Good, good. Okay. Well, so far this tool's going uh, a little better. I, I guess you could say, in a way, we're getting a little luckier than in the last duel because uh, he doesn't have one of his, you know, continuous trap cards yet. Like, um, let's see, what were the ones he played on us on the last episode? Yeah, Blind Destruction and Needle Wall. So, uh, those are pretty good continuous traps, and uh, as you saw, it can wreak a lot of havoc. So, yeah, that Needle Wall, man, that three, that three. a good roll on our Mooka Mooka. Baby Dragon in stereo! <laughs> Alright. Uh, you know, I guess I'll play Spellbinding Circle. Probably not the best play ever. And honestly, I should save it in case he, like, fuses for something. But, I, oh no, actually, I think it's alright. Because if he fuses, you know, I have, uh... I still have Hain Hain on the field, so, ooh, Kazijin, okay, okay, well, if we can get that out, that would be, I, I don't know if we can, though, I, I'll try, guys, I'll try, I'll try to summon Kazijin, it's the first time we've got him, we know we've drawn him, so, I don't know, though, Joey g generally has pretty strong monsters, I'm pretty sure he has... You know, most anything in this deck can take out uh, I'll see the little hero here, but like I said, I will try. Direct attack. Oh, okay. I kind of expected like a scapegoat there. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Joey in this deck, I'm pretty sure he runs, you know, like three scapegoats. And with that, of course, he runs, uh, you know, Panther Warrior too, because that, that's a good little combo. You know, you can sacrifice the sheep tokens, and just like that, one of your monsters with 2,000 can attack. So, yeah, Versago. Yeah. Sorry, Kazajin. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Not this duel. Because I'm not sacrificing Whiptail Crow. That's... I mean, we've played that combo since the first turn, and you know, so far he hasn't been able to get past it. So, yeah, we're going to keep that combo until he, you know, destroys it or... Ooh, Dangerous Machine Type 6. There it is. Yeah. Good card. Um, let me... Ooh, Negate Attack. Man. Okay. So I'll set Negate Attack and Hang Hang. But let me go over this Dangerous Machine. Uh, basically, you roll during your standby phase and you apply the effect. One, you discard one card. Two, your opponent... 3, you draw a card, 4, your opponent draws a card, and 5, destroy one card on the opponent's field, that's not good. 6, destroys itself. So, what we really want from this duel, from this card, are the, uh, we want the odd numbers, we want 1, 3, and 6. Those are the best case scenarios. Uh, worst case, probably 5 and... Oh, no, wait. Three is he draws a card. Okay, so what we want is one, four, and six. Yeah, because four is your opponent draws a card. Okay, so one, four, or six. Uh, the others all will benefit him. So probably the two worst he can roll with that is uh, three to let himself draw a card, and five, of course, destroys one of, one of your cards that he chooses. So... Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good card though. It's a gamble, but it's good. It's really good. All right, Joey, what are you gonna do, man? Time Wizard. 
Uh, Dark Hole, Mirror Force, what do you got? Mm, let's see what he gets. Oh, a six, perfect. Perfect, so the Dangerous Machine didn't do anything. Didn't, didn't hurt us one bit. That's great. That's good. Alright, looks like he's finally going into defense mode. Alright. Let's see. Ooh, Needle Wall. You know, normally I'd be mad about that, Joey, but I just happen to have a little face down monster. Go, Crimson Ninja! Alright. Crimson Ninja, use your special ability. Stealth Arrow! Destroy that Needle Wall now! Awesome. And I'll use Hain Hain's effects. Go, Hain Hain! Use your special ability to Sickle Scythe. Return his car to his hand. <laughs> Alright, and I think. Let's see. I think we can win here. Let's see, Joey's life points are at 3,500, so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I play Kazajin, and um, he doesn't like play Trap Hole or something. I think that's game, so wish me luck here, guys. Alright, come on. No trap hole. Nothing crazy. And no scapegoat. No mirror force. Just, 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 just don't play anything, Joey. Don't do it. Don't ruin my hopes and dreams. Alright. Is this it? Are we going to win the match with Joey? This two out of three? I don't know. It looks... Looking pretty good. Joey's not playing anything. Alright, Kazajin, finish him off. Godly Windburst attack. Aw, oh, man. That was a great duel when uh, Yugi and Joey dueled versus Paradox Brothers. Man, that's that duel was very, very cool. Alright, Joey. We win this time. Yeah, you might beat me, but I'll be back for revenge in the next episode. <laughs> no, I lost. That's all right, Joey. You'll you'll probably get me uh, another time. I'm sure of it. All right, so with that, let's go and save real quick. All right. Let's save. Yes. I will overwrite that data. Alright. Huh. And I never noticed that, but I think that's, uh, you know, right next to your save box. It looks like, uh, was that Genetech Alligator? No, no. The, I don't think that's the English name. Um, Cybertech Alligator, I want to say. That's a pretty good car, too. Uh, if we can, hopefully we'll try and get it, uh, added to our deck later. Alright, we've got a duelist here, right by the house, so, yeah, let's duel him. Oh, Joey again, wow. Alright, well, that's, uh, <laughs> man, alright. <laughs> We're just doing a Joey montage these next couple episodes, hey, which is fine by me, I mean, honestly, Joey, like I said, one of the harder people to duel, but, uh, but honestly, I, I like a good challenge, too, so... Really one of the more fun people to duel in the beginning, you know, back back when we, now now that we both, you know, really, you know, it's a starter deck, you really don't have much to go on, so. Alright, Joey. Finally changed from paper, huh? Yeah. I'll go second. Alright, let's duel again, Joey. Who's gonna win this time? Ooh, Armored Rat. Not bad. Oh, and I have the sword combo. Nice, okay. This is actually a pretty good hand. So, I'll do Prevent Rat. And then I'll use a card you use from the anime, Joey. Go, Hinotama! Attack his life points! Fireball attack! How you like that, Joey? Feel the burn. All right, Tiger Axe. Okay, that's not that's not the worst thing. I wonder if Joey this early in the game has Jinzo. 
You know, that is a good question. You know what? Uh, his deck is actually, you know, like last episode, I was talking about how, you know, they kind of nerfed, oh, Dangerous Machine, no. Uh, well, hopefully it'll get a bad roll right away and destroy itself, but I don't know. I got a, I got a bad feeling about that card, man. You know, like last time, it, it just ended too quickly, you know, there's no way, there's no way that, uh, it's going to end so quickly this time. Alright, so I'll play Sword of Dark Destruction in case he has a uh, Skull Dice face down. I've learned to, uh, yeah, after that, that thing with Baby Dragon and Great, Great White, I've learned to kind of, kind of be careful attacking Joey. A little more careful than usual. Uh, most of his traps it don't seem like they like stop your attack per se. Um, well, I imagine he does have some, but anyway, like I was saying, uh, I kind of wonder if he maybe doesn't have Jinzo because, yeah, they, they really nerf Yugi's deck early on. I know uh, he plays some of you know some cards that he just really doesn't play. You know, toward the end of the game, I think. I mean, ooh, a one. I forget what that does. Oh, he has to discard. Ooh, and he discarded Time Wizard. Well, that's great for us. Trust me, we do not want to see that on the field either. Okay, Beaver Warrior. Leave it to Beaver Warrior. Um. Well, I'm gonna play Fairy Meteor Crush on Whip Cell. That way he can start doing piercing damage. So Whip Tail Crow is souped up right now. He's uh, crushing fairies and got a dark sword. Yes, a flying, you know, evil crow thing has a sword and is wielding it. Don't ask me how. Doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't think Joey has Jinzo at this point. I, I really don't. Um, which is, honestly, which is a huge break because... I can't imagine taking on Jinzo with just your starter. I, I just can't imagine there would be. There's almost no way, really, to take it down. So, all right, Joey, what are you gonna get? Five? Oh God, not a five. Well, bye bye, Whiptail Curl. It was nice, man. It was nice while it lasted. Yep, he got us. All right. The comeback begins. Joey the Revenge. Oh, well, you attacked my Beaver Warrior, you fool. Now, Beaver Warrior, fend him off. Nice. Looks like I took good care of my Beaver. Ha, <laughs> Joey. Oh, we're doing good here. So far, we haven't lost any life points, so. Um, the advantage is kind of. I don't know, it's kind of like even now. Hmm. Well, wow, you know, it's interesting. I could sacrifice for slot machine. You might say that's a good idea. But I'm actually going to go with Baron. Um, because he still has Dangerous Machine out there. You know, and if slot machine's my only card out, and he rolls a 5, you know, that's... You know, that, that, that sucks. So, yeah. I'm going to... Try to play slot machine. You know, maybe when we have an, an extra monster on the field. You know, just in case, just in case that dangerous machine is still, you know, get, getting that five. So that's or may, hopefully we can play it when it, once it finally destroys itself. Three. What does that do? Does that let me draw a card? Oh dang! No, it lets him draw a card. Man. All right. Oh, he's got another face down. Alright, Joey. Alright, alright. Alright, Eternal Rest. Hmm. Now, this is actually a good combo here. Paralyzing Potion and Eternal Rest. Uh, basically, we can destroy one of his cards at any time. I will go for the slot machine here. Um, like I said, kind of risky, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Slap machine. All right. Okay. Baron, attack his face down. Oh man. 
Ah, magic arm shield. I made a mistake. Ay, that hurts. Well, nice move, Joey. That's a good trap card, man. Man, I wanted to see if we can try and get that one. Wow. And so now our only monster slot machine. That's not good. This is what I was worried about. Oh, man. Joey. Mm. What's it gonna get? Two. What does that do? Oh, man, that makes me discard a card. Well. Man, which one? I think I'll discard Eternal Rest. Mm. Well, at least he didn't destroy Slot Machine, though. That's good. We definitely did not want that, so... Okay, and he's got another face down. Alright, I'm gonna play Horny Imp. Well, that was a good roll for him, because there goes our combo, you know. Um, I doubt he'd have another Magic Arm Shield, so I'm just gonna attack with Horny Imp. Yeah, see? Baby Dragon. Good decision, Josh. Good decision. Alright, Joey. Man, I tell you, Joey makes you think, though. You, you wouldn't think, like, you know, his, uh, he would be, you know, as tough as he is, but, uh, really his continuous effects, that's, that's what gets you. That's what makes you, you know, really have to think out some of your moves here, so. Alright, I end my turn. I destroyed your baby dragon, Joey. I play my dangerous machine type six. Yeah. I roll a two. So I have to discard again? Is that right? Yes. Dang, man. Ah, I guess I should have played that face down, but... Yeah, I probably should have played that face down. Pot of... Wow. He... Did you guys just see that? He played Pot of Greed and he didn't get Jack. Wow, that's surprising, really. Okay, Joey. Looks like... Looks like we win. Wow, no way, man. Huh. Wow. That's... That's shocking. I can't believe he... He must have drew into, like, Red Eyes and... I don't know, like Garuzis or something. <laughs> like, that sucks, dude. Alright, well, good game, Joey. We win again. Ooh, eight away from leveling up. Alright, not bad. And we get 82 more KC points. So, yeah, maybe you guys can kind of see why I reset it last week. Because, like, uh, I mean, we only got. 11, you know, when we lost, but, uh, since we reset, we got, uh, what was that, 80, 88 there, so, that's, yeah, definitely worth it, I think, to, uh, yeah, make the most of the, du the duels you get, so, no shame in resetting, no shame at all, alright, of course, there's no guarantee that, you know, the, you know, the marker you'll run into will be a duelist. Because uh, as you saw from last episode, you can run into NPCs too. But, uh, I mean, I mean, most of the time, you're going to run into a duelist. So. Um, now, actually, we're getting really late at night here. I don't know if you guys can see, like, the, the time bar at the top. But, yeah, you see how it has, like... I don't know, you know, sort of a moon symbol? Well, and, and, yeah, from that picture right there, you can clearly tell, you know, it's it's nighttime. Um, so, really, I think we have only one more uh, event to happen in this day, like duel or whatever, and then that'll be the end of this day. So, oh, and this is, who is this? Is this the NPC? Yeah, it is. <laughs> What's that high-tech thingy on your arm? I saw some other people wearing it. Is it like the end thing right now? Yes, and it's called a dual disc, you fool. Oh wow, that wasn't the last event? Wow, I thought that would be the last one for sure. Okay, well it looks like we get one more. Oh, and Joey part, I don't know, what is this, part five? <laughs> oh, hey, that's, that's fine with me. Fine with me. 
Alright. Bring it on. <laughs> oh man. Joey, you must like dueling us. But yeah, apparently if you want to duel Joey, uh, it appears he stays out late. Uh, you know, here in the beginning of the game. So yeah, if you're having... You know, if you're having trouble finding him uh, in your game, I'd recommend uh, dueling more at night. For sure. Rocket the Warrior. Oh man, he's already got it. Dangerous machine. Okay, here we go. Alright, Joey. Let's see. Hmm, two face downs with Rocket Warrior. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to set Magic Dream. I'm going to play Hinotama. You know, just for the, the free damage, like last time. And what am I going to do? Well, as much as I don't want to risk it, I almost have to risk Neo. Come on, no trap hole, Joey. Okay. No trap hole... Alright, no graceful dice, no skull dice. Neo attack! Oh! Wow! Oh my god, I can't believe he didn't play a trap card there. Man, that, that could have easily been, you know, terrible for us there for the first turn. Alright, alright. Alright, Joey, I end my turn. Wow. I wonder what his face downs are then. Hmm. Okay. Alright, dangerous machine. Last time last duel stayed on the field the whole time, so two. I think that makes us discard. Yeah. Uh well, you know, realistically, I don't see us getting out slot machine, so I'll discard that. It'll be okay. Alligator sword in attack mode. <laughs> oh no, metal morph. Man. Good card. Uh, Metal Morph will boost your attack and defense by 300, but also, as you'll see here, when he attacks, he gains half of the monster's power, so... Ooh, man. That's a good... Wait, wait. Why didn't he use Metal Morph when I attacked with Neo? Yeah, that would've gave Rocket Warrior... That would've gave Rocket Warrior 1800. Uh, that's kind of a misplay on his part, honestly. Man, this is not good. Great white. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, he only has 1,500 defense. Man, I hope this works. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, so I'm going to try to play block attack. Hopefully, my attack gets through. This this can be a nasty combo. Okay. Play Great White. And attack his alligator sword. Come on. Come on, Great White. You can do it. Yes. Oh, wow. Whew. That could have been way worse than that. Trust me. That could have been the end. That's a hard combo to overcome. Wow. Block attack. I'm glad I kept that card. Because honestly, I thought about discarding it, really. When we had the dangerous machine, so. Mm. I should probably set, like, most of my magic cards face down, though. Uh, when he plays that dangerous machine. Because it seems like he gets that, too, quite often. Oh, sweet! We got to draw a card. Okay. Thanks, Joey. <laughs> eh, scrub. Alright, I draw. Spellbinding Circle. Good, good, good. This is going well. This is going well. Um, I think I'll play Toon Gator in defense mode after I attack here. To end my turn, so. Brasago, okay. Well, that's good, because I don't want him fusing for, like, Black Skull Dragon, Thousand Dragon, or Alligator Sword Dragon. I don't want you fusing for anything, Joey. Alright. You know, I'm surprised, you know, one duel we saw Joey discard Time Wizard, but I'm surprised in every one of these duels, like, we haven't seen him actually 
summon Time Wizard, and, and I swear, guys, like, you'll see what I mean when, once he finally plays it. He gets so lucky. I, sw I swear, like, when I used to play this as a kid, yes, it destroyed itself. Good, good. But yeah, I swear, when I played this as a kid, I swear, he got Time Wizard right, like, every single, t you know, like, 95% of the time. Okay. Like, 95% of the time, he, he got it right with Time Wizard. I don't know what it is, man. It's just like, it's almost like they programmed that in. It's like, Time Wizard with Joey, automatic, you know? Like, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see when he plays it, though. Like, you'll see. Trust me. Alright. And, uh, you know, he tends to play that Magic Arm Shield a lot, so I'm going to attack with Great White first. Alright, Battle Warrior. Okay. So he doesn't have Magic Arm Shield on the field right now. Kind of makes me wonder what he what he has, but but he'll he'll play it. play his cards in due time. All right, Horn Imp attack, Scapegoat? No, wow, he hasn't used Scapegoat once either. Kind of shocked, really. All right, Joey, first direct attack. Down to six thousand. Oh, what what time are we at here? Thirty-one minutes. Uh, we're still waiting. We're still waiting. Oh man, another face down. All right. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna play a little cautiously here, and I'll set unhappy maiden main phase. All right, hornet, do it. Wow. Three face downs. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine at least one of those is a dice card. Uh, the other two, I don't know. I don't know. I'd imagine at least one is. So. Hmm. It's gotta be. All right, Joey. All right, I'm gonna set this monster in defense mode. I guess maybe I should have kept slot machine because looks like we would have been able to play it, but yeah, you know, it, it's all right. It's, it's not that big a deal. So, I summon baby dragon in attack mode. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that, Joey? Uh, okay, just gonna attack. What are you attacking? Oh, unhappy maiden. Uh, I could spell binding, but I'll, I'll just let him. Let him kill it. It's not a big deal. Wow. Alright, that really makes me think. Like, one of those cards has to be a dice card then. Like, why else would he play Baby Dragon in attack mode? Yeah. Alright, Joey. We'll see. We'll see what you got down there. Mmm. And we get the combo once again. Whiptail and sword. Well, let's do it. Wow. <laughs> this is becoming our new, like, Muka Muka. <laughs> I think we've drawn this, you know, combo every duel this episode. So, hey, but I'm fine with that. Uh, Whiptail Crow, honestly, is probably one of the better monsters in our deck right now. Um, it, you know, it's, it's, it's solid. It's attack... Uh, both uh, offensive and defensive, but I don't like that. That's that's good. So I'll try to get more of those. You know, here early on. So once we get up to that uh, fifteen hundred for the uh, KC points. So. All right, horn imp, direct attack. All right, Joey. Uh, you might want to play a card, because you almost had a life points. Alright. And looks like we win again. Alright. Oh, awesome. Okay. So we got enough points to level up to level 3, so that's good. That'll get us 300 points. Alright. Well, looks like we have uh, enough KC points to, uh, you know, do what I like to do. 
So, no, I lost. All right. Well, this was a good episode, honestly. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's already return. It's kind of one of the more strange uh, d dialogue options in this game, but... Uh, alas. Uh, anyway. Uh, now, a lot of you may not know this, but, uh, you know, at the beginning of the game, like, when, once it gets to the full end of the day here, if you try to go outside, and then, uh, yeah, it'll say... I will stop going out because of slowness today. Uh, so whenever that happens, what you need to do is uh, sleep in your bed. And that will move the time to the next day. So sleep? Yes. And that's all you have to do. Uh, honestly, you can sleep at night really at any point from like late evening on. Like We didn't have to go out and do there at night. But... Um, but I decided, you know, we would, so. Alright, save. Alright. And well, this episode's getting to the end here, so I think I'll leave it off here, guys. And uh, I appreciate you all for watching. In the next episode, uh, we're basically just going to continue, see if we can finally find Yami Yugi, and um, see what happens then. Alright. Bye, guys. Right, man, that was that duel was all Joey. <laughs> Joey the Revenge floods paradise <laughs> like Joey's paradise, man. <laughs> oh, good. That was fun though.